Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. We are back now with Chef Bob here at Sour from Farm Fresh, and he's bringing pie for dinner. Savory pies, tomato That's pie, right. tomato bacon pie. jalapeno, tomato pie. We're going to do two variations here. Two variations. Two okay, um, before we get to it, yeah. you said this is a southern classic. Uh -huh. um, talk about the ingredients, what we need, yep. and then we'll get started. Okay. First off, pie shell. Okay. Um, you can make your, make your own, get the frozen. Right. Uh, we cheated, we got the frozen today. Okay. We went ahead and pre baked these just a little bit, just to pre bar, uh, cook them just a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're going to do main thing tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, and we're going to go through here. What, what we're talking about, we're going to also have. Uh, we're going to do tomatoes. We're going to take one process. The hardest part of it is we're taking the skin off. Onions, basil, um, and a little green onion. Then we have a little seasoning, salt and pepper, a little garlic. So not little that much. Dish. Not that much at all. You okay. can even cut this part out. Okay. Just put it on there. But the, like I said, the hardest part about this whole thing was to take the skins off. And it's pretty, it's pretty important to do that. Otherwise, it, it, it kind of gets full. Sometimes the skins on these can be kind of thick. So how do we do that? We're going to go ahead and take the core out. I'm going to do one to show you. Okay. Okay. And we've got a little boiling water here, and then we're going to score the bottom just slightly. Okay, I'm going to do the same there. Okay. okay. And then just score that. There you go. We're going to drop them in the boiling water here just for like 10 seconds. I'm going to get that out of the way. 10 seconds? Is that yeah, all? 10 seconds. Uh, we'll go maybe a little more. Okay. But just you'll see okay. that it starts to peel away. Okay, we're going to pull the skin starts to pull away from there a little bit. Okay. And let's go there. While we're doing it, we're going to go ahead and pull those out. We're going to go ahead and throw them into some cold water just to cool them down here. Okay. You can go maybe a few seconds longer, but we don't have the time here today. So, okay. And then what does here, the skin will come right off of there. See? Okay. So okay. Just, just go to where it's been scored and just pull the skin off. It comes right off. And then we just go ahead and chop these up. Okay. Okay. And so you got this chopped. Got that chopped. We're going to add some onions. Okay, so you want me to add everything? Yeah, in go, ahead, go ahead, everything in there. All right, here there we go. go. And get this this is the way. fun part. Yes. Yeah, Bob does all the prefixing and I get to put it all together. That's right. Okay, so you want to go some uh, onions yeah, uh, and then some green pepper? Uh, let's hold on this uh, jalapenos. Jalapeno. Okay, we got some basil. Okay, all of it? Uh, sure. One. Boom. We got some green onions. Green okay. onions. Okay, it's Pin colorful. Pinch of salt. How about a little bit of, uh, yeah, there you go. Get some salt in there, a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. We got some uh, granulated garlic. And that's it, you don't have to, that's kind of optional if you want to or not. Okay, I just put a lot in there by accident. It'll be all right. You, okay, and we'll put a little bit of Italian seasoning on there. Okay. Mix that puppy up. Mix it up. Yeah. This is the part Aubrey really likes. She likes <laughs> it when I mix things up. She says I do a good job of that, whatever that means. Okay, so. Okay. So we're mixing all that up. We're going to just put that right in a pie shell that you have our, already done here. Now, Bob, this just seems too easy. Well, hey, that's what it's all about. We want to make it easy for you. It is a super easy recipe, but super good, too. You'll fit, fit. Go ahead and let's put about half of that. Just go ahead and fill that up about level. Okay, can you get that? Okay. How about, how about a little bit more? Okay, how about there that? There you go, that's good right okay. there. Okay. Okay, you got that, level it off. Now we're going to make one like regular, uh, just plain. Okay. Then we're going to add bacon. Bacon. And the jalapenos. And jalapenos. Ooh, okay. bacon jalapenos. Yeah, so that's the first one was just regular, right? Right. First one's just regular, we're going to do that. Now we're jacking it up, have a little fun with this tomato pie. <laughs> Okay, okay, so that's yeah. all mixed. Mix now just pour that in the pour other one. Pour that other one, and then we're going to get the topping ready. Okay, so this just seems like uh, you can go in a lot of different directions with this. Absolutely. So if this is just the way to start with the tomato pie. Right. People can add whatever they want to Let me it. help you out with that. Go ahead. Okay. There we go. That's good. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to do the topping. Take some cheese. I got a little sharp cheddar cheese. We got a little Italian blend just for that. You can use mozzarella if you want. Okay. Or no, let's go put that in the bowl right there. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, put that whoa. in the bowl. That's cool. it's, it's, all, it's all going to the same place. In the bowl. In you the bowl. Take it out, it, of, out, of the out of the package, put it in the bowl. Okay. Because we've got to mix that up. We're making a little bit of a. Dad, do you want some of this? Yeah, I'll put, uh, put that whole bag in there. Okay. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hey, you know. Add a little topping. <laughs> okay. I do, do it. Okay, we're going to throw about. We did about. Uh, this is the southern part right here, yeah. the mayonnaise, right? Yeah. The mayonnaise goes in here. Actually, the whole tomato thing is. And, you know, this is. Comes out. Uh, most people try these when they have they have uh, their gardens and they got an overabundance of tomatoes. Oh, okay. And you know, it's just a quick way of something to put together, throw together here. Can I just get my hands in there? Go ahead and put your hands in there. Come on yeah. now. See how that comes. Let's well, just comes get together. in there because this yeah. just wasn't working. And then just go ahead and divide it up half on this one, half on this one. Okay, real quickly. Okay, we're almost mm -hmm. out of time. Okay. So yeah. spread those on there. 
Now we're talking okay. a tomato pie. And I usually like to try to show what we have inside there. Okay. Okay. That one's going to be it's going to garnish on top with a little bit of bacon that we okay. already have pre-cooked. There you go. Okay. So listen, we're going to garnish. We're going to okay. pop in the oven for how right. long? For about a uh, half hour. Half hour. Okay. Yeah. In 30 yeah, minutes, we'll be back. Okay. And we're going to show <laughs> you this fixed, uh, this finished tomato pie with Chef Bob from we Farm Fresh. Good job, Bob. Hey. You Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh, and he's bringing pie for dinner, a southern classic, tomato pie. Mm -hmm. Tomato pie. Or tomato, which is it? Depends on where you're from. Or it depends on where you're from. Coupon, coupon. Look at okay. this. How amazing does that look? I mean, right. just moments ago, it was just a bunch of stuff thrown together. Thrown together. Hey, you did a great job throwing it together, and that's, that's how easy it is. Bam, we throw it into the oven, cook it for about... 30 minutes, 35 minutes, uh, might be a little bit longer for a regular conventional, conventional oven. Mm -hmm. Convection oven, a little bit quicker, about 20 minutes. Okay, so okay. anywhere between 20 and 30, 35 minutes, whatever, right? Depends on what kind of oven you have. And then, yeah, just want to get a brown on top. All that time, everything else cooks together. What temperature? Uh, do it at 400. 400? Yeah. Okay, okay. and um, I can tell it looks amazing. And like yeah. you said, great way to, to uh, use maybe uh, someone who has a garden with whole bunch of extra tomatoes. Absolutely. You, you know, sometimes you get your neighbors come over, hey, here's a bunch of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. and, you know, what do you do with them? Um, it's just a great way of uh, dealing with it. And, you, and hopefully you'll get to try to taste some of this today. Don't you know and, it? And, you know, we'll go for it. But we'll go ahead. We, we okay. pull them out. We cook them off, ground them off. You want to let it set for about 10 minutes. Okay. You know, then you go ahead and make the cut. Um, you want to go and cut it. We'll put it on here. We're going to pair sure. it up with just a, a simple uh, green salad. I did a little simple uh, vinaigrette here. Okay. Put that over top. If you want to make a cut, throw a wedge on there. Okay, I've already cut those for you. And you know, the first one's always tough, so it might fall apart a little bit on you. So, I'm gonna so you're so you're giving uh, me the the uh, first one. Absolutely. Great, Bob. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh well, you know what? It's kind of like a. <laughs> it's not the first time it didn't come out beautiful. That's right. And then we just pair that up. With, there you go. Put that, that little put a little little, little, little bit of. Uh, Salad on there, and then we'll pair it up with a little bit of our fresh breads that we can go with, and that's, that's your dinner. Okay, uh, okay. let's talk more yeah. about the bread because the mm -hmm. bread at Farm Fresh is amazing, and you brought three different right here. Talk yeah. more about the bakery. Well, we got we got we got a lot of different um, uh, styles of breads we have. You know, we, these are all cook, uh, cooked in house. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a roasted garlic. We have a uh, multi grain there, and we also have a rye. And the rye, I just wanted to just show that we do pre slice it for you, so you, right. it's all ready for you. These are. Um, uh, we have different variations of, you know, uh, scratch baked items. We also have ones that are, you know, par baked, but they, but they are uh, cooked and finished off in the stores. Also, a couple things I want to just point out is, that, you know, we also have in our bakery colossal donuts. And okay, oh yes, yeah. and do we ever have colossal donuts? The colossal donuts have been a great item for us. You know, we first brought them in the mid midsummer here. Uh, a couple other programs we also want to talk about. We have uh, going on right now is the uh, food drive. Food drive still going on. Buy the pre pre done bags, five dollar donations, and those go um, goes until the end of the month. And also, you might notice that I had a little uh, badge going on today. That's our CHKD drive roundup. Our fall roundup is starting September seventh, going for two weeks only. And that's when you can come through your, come through the line and round up your ticket for to the next dollar or more if you want. Okay. And it goes directly to CHKD for donations and you know a few cents makes a lot of dollars okay so so uh, the cashiers will be asking would you like to round up to the nearest dollar yes that's and, that's a great idea and we only have we only have two weeks of that going from September 7th through the through the 20th and, and what a great cause CHKD mm -hmm. okay getting back to uh, the food drive okay today is hunger action day and all month long is hunger action awareness month here on the Hampton Road show we like to support that local cause because Absolutely. we know the importance of so many people out there who need food you guys at Farm Fresh, though, you've been doing this now for about a month, right? About a month now, and, and it's been great. I, I wish I had, you got me on a stick, I wish I had the numbers mm -hmm. that we're at right That's now, okay. but I know it's been great. It's been a super drive for us. We've been doing uh, this pre-done bag idea has been a great send off for it. And that's what makes it so easy. You can go in, purchase a bag right there, and donate. Not just that, but if you go through the line, you can uh, buy yourself a couple of uh, canned food items, a couple mm -hmm. of non-perishables to help, sure. the, help the drive. Not mm -hmm. only that, but then you can round up to the nearest dollar. Absolutely. For CHKD. CHKD, all these great causes to help our community. That's awesome. Okay, so what else is hot and happening at Farm Fresh? Well, we always have, uh, you know, great, uh, great sales going on. Um, we have, actually I should say that we had a grand opening at one of our stores. We've had lately 
been redone and mm -hmm. re refurbished some of our stores here lately. You were at the one in Great Bridge. Right. Uh, we also did one in Great Bridge, Chesapeake. We also did one in Military Highway. We just did one yesterday at two locations, one in Grafton and one in um, uh, um, Diamond Springs. Awesome. Um, and so we, we got pretty much one going on every week now. We're Almost every weeks. corner, Farm Fresh's location, they're, they're located all across Hampton Roads. Find mm -hmm. the one closest to you at farmfreshsupermarkets.com. He is the one and only Bob Hirasawa. As always, man, this was fun. And I hope it was simple. I hope you try it. Okay. Good job, Bob. Okay.